Dear young people, greetings of joy and peace. This has yet been another very challenging year for all of us. We had to forgo our usual national activities for the youth. I am sure even your usual gatherings have also been affected. When something bad happens to us, when misfortune comes our way, when we fail, when we commit mistakes, we tend to blame others. At times, we justify ourselves with the circumstances of our life. And with the pandemic making things more difficult for us, we may even be blaming the COVID-19 virus, or we may be blaming others, even God. Yet, may we realize and accept that we are not products of our own circumstances. Rather, we are products of our own choices. In his message for the 36th World Youth Day, Pope Francis echoes to us the words of Jesus to St. Paul, Stand up, I appoint you as a witness of what you have seen. In the same message, Pope Francis beat us, Arise! We can take this call as a reminder for us to choose to stop blaming others or our circumstances. On the contrary, we can choose to take responsibility. Pope Francis reminds you, there is a great potential in your hands. What great strength you have in your hearts. The times are difficult. We are limited in many ways. We see around us multiple scenes of weakness, despair, loss, and death. Our fragility becomes clearer before our very eyes, mind, and heart. Yet again, Pope Francis tells us, in fragility, we discover virtues. Indeed, as St. Paul says, when I am weak, it is then that I am strong. In our weakness, sinfulness, and loss, God reveals His powerful love and comes to rescue us. As we march towards our yearly World Youth Day, this Christ the King Sunday, and our very own National Youth Day on December 16, we, your ECY bishops, wish to add to the Arise Summons of Pope Francis. Thus we say, Young people, Arise! Stop blaming others. Stop blaming your circumstances. Rather, take responsibility. Do not shy away from responsibilities. Be ready and willing to make an account of your life. Maximize and share your talent, your time, your gifts, and your life. Arise! Resist evil and negativity. Do not allow yourselves to be enslaved by laziness and vices. In Christ, you have the power to conquer evil with good. Do not allow yourselves to be drowned by the tragedies and misfortunes you encounter. Do not let go of the light that gives you hope. Arise, do something. The present situation is complicated. You may not have all you need. You may not be in the best condition. Yet you can start something good, even if it is small. Do your best to be constant and consistent in doing good. Remember what Ovid said, Dripping water hollows out stone, not through force, but persistence. Arise, do something different. Ask yourself if you keep doing the same things, should you expect different results? There to make a difference. Fortune favors those who are courageous. Uh, be not afraid. Saint Pope John Paul II echoes the words of Jesus. Arise! Let us not give up on kindness and charity. Let us not give up the search for truth and justice. Let our mercy and compassion overflow. Let us be patient, greedy, and persevering. Patience, 
conquers all. Arise! Soon we shall choose our leaders on election time. Let us fight selfishness, indifference, and apathy. Let us choose to care, to engage and make good choices. Our freedom is perfected by constantly choosing the good. Choosing evil is an abuse of our freedom. Arise, let us dream once again. When we stop dreaming, we gradually lose our reason for living. Young people, dream big. Let your dreams be not only for yourselves and for your family, but also for your community, for the needy. Dream for your fellow young people, your brothers and sisters, especially those in the margins. Arise and dream once again for our beloved country, the Philippines. Let us uh, save our country together. Let us not hurl stones at each other. We are not enemies. We are brothers and sisters. We need one another. Let us open our doors and hearts that we may understand each other. Arise. Choose to act and not to be acted upon. Do not just wait. Take courage and take that first step with confidence in the Lord. You cannot make the second or third step unless you make the first step. It is better to have failed but have tried rather than to have failed without even trying. Which is better, to light a candle or to curse the darkness? Indeed, the easiest way to fail is not to try. Pope Francis gives us the example of St. Paul, who was once a persecutor of Christ's followers, and yet because of Jesus' mercy, became his apostle. The message is clear. We can rise from our fall. We can be healed of our blindness. We can turn away from our evil ways. We are called to be bearers of the good news. Jesus saves us. Do not be afraid to witness to others about what you have seen and heard. Parisia, speak boldly, says Pope Francis. Do not hide within yourselves the good, the true, and the beautiful. You are gifted to give. Continue being beloved, gifted, and empowered young people in mission. You may think this is impossible. Look at the example of the saints. They lived through very difficult situations during their lifetime, but they remained steadfast in their faith. They did not give up on loving. But uh, you might say, uh, bishops, this is only for the saints. Look around you. You will find many ordinary people, young and old, who with humble trust and quiet fidelity make sacrifices daily to survive this uh, pandemic and its uh, ugly consequences. They do not lose hope. Theirs are lives that shine through the darkness of our present time. Dear young people, arise. Let us journey together towards greater discipleship and mission. With other youth ministers, we commit to walk with you. Let us shine the light of Christ on those who have lost meaning, joy, and fulfillment in life. Arise, dear young people. Take advantage of your strength and passion. Most importantly, seek Jesus. He awaits to be your best friend. Make friendship with Him. 
discover the richness of His life and message. For the fullest meaning of our life and our mission can only be understood through Him, who is the way, the truth, and the life. We reiterate the call of Pope Francis using the words of Jesus to St. Paul. Stand up. I appoint you as a witness of what you have seen. We invoke God's blessing for you, our dear young people. We wish you and your ecclesial communities a happy National Youth Day 2021 and another meaningful year of journeying together.